the problem that we have hospital bed in a good hospital uh, 1,000 population. Uh, we are competing, competing with Britain, only with Britain. Uh, we have only 2.2% uh, bed for 1,000 population, which is very, very low, as compared to uh, uh, Denmark, Netherlands, and uh, EU average, which is here. So our facilities are less, However, our outcome of the healthcare system is high. And uh, what we are doing with those uh, hospital beds, as I mentioned, we have 2.2 hospital beds for a care per 1,000 population. Uh, we have 17.6 admissions per uh, 100 population. We have a very low average stay in the hospital as compared to them, which is the Netherlands, United Kingdom, all the average. And the occupancy rate of our bed is 94%, which, you know, uh, <laughs> 94% means that in many months of the year, we are oh. all quiet. That's we have an occupancy rate of 120, 30, and even 50 during the, the winter months. So to sum this part up of the Remember? performance in the of the medical system, uh, we spend a lot less on, on uh, our system, of course, than from the United States and even from the uh, European countries, and we are even below the OECD uh, average. Per capita spending is uh, very low, no. as you can see here. Yeah. And the life expectancy is uh, wow. the graph, this is the graph of the United States, So, to sum up, we have universal coverage, we have advanced technology, we have high level of education and training for our physicians. Uh, we are having high physician patient ratio, which uh, but we anticipate in the uh, coming years that uh, uh, this ratio will go down because many physicians are retiring and uh, our medical schools uh, produce only 400 medical students a year. Wow. Michael is involved with the trying to, to, to open a, a fifth medical school in Netherlands. We have uh, a thousand medical students now studying in uh, Budapest. And uh, uh, we, we are hoping that they will come back uh, to Israel. Uh, and another issue is the, the economics of uh, medicine around the world. I mean, Israeli physicians are known to be high, of high standards. And, uh, there is a shortage in the, in the West, uh, mainly in the United States. Uh, you can buy, you, you, you can pay a lot more than we can. <laughs> so you spend 16%, <laughs> like, uh, you spend 7%. So many are coming to the United States, uh, are many that were educated in Israel, spend uh, medical, medical uh, school years and, and uh, residency in Israel, and then U.S. <laughs> actually for free to practice here, and uh, that's very uh, concerning for us. What percentage do you have now? That have you ever taken that? What percentage are leaving? Uh, I think that these days we have uh, more around 3,000 Israeli physicians uh, are staying here in the United States more than three years. So we, we are taking <laughs> off the numbers that are coming for fellowship. Right. Training, right. but 3,000 students. Right. Many physicians are coming around uh, 24,000. Wow. So, big uh, proportion. Yeah, so it's a huge proportion, and uh, this is very concerning. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, economics yeah. eventually has different. Right. Uh, but uh, maybe what normal school now will uh, make the American. <laughs> <laughs> so we have limited resources and uh, we score high on the health indicator scale. So Join we are here for starting with the 
similar talk in Munich, but uh, our final message is that we would like you to join us. No, not permanent. <laughs> not to do much, but uh, come visit us, uh, collaborate with us, uh, be our reserve, reserve uh, force uh, for times of emergency. And uh, we, we hope to you in Israel and you should support the U.S. chapter of the Israeli Medical Association and uh, help us uh, build uh, uh, a big chapter that uh, eventually we all will benefit uh, out of. So if you have questions, uh, I think I should go on.